Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. We are starting here from one corner of this showroom which happens to be Alain Class Motors and this is a 2014 Jeep Wrangler which has been custom made for the Dubai Auto Show, Abu Dhabi Auto Show I think. Yeah, and it's absolute mad in the way it looks but you know what, what you're going to do is a quick walk around of the complete showroom to show you the cool cars on offer. Now the Wrangler is of course a very cool car but customized it's even cooler. Meanwhile, we've got the Hummer H1, Audi S7, a Mercedes S500 AMG and a couple of Maserati Quattroportes GTS variants and here is the Hummer H2 but amongst all these amazing cars there's a car which comes across as an ISO a Toyota Prius hybrid what are you doing here who invited you to this party you're just out of place somehow anyways a Prius here is like having salad in between a chicken sandwich anyways sorry vegan people and vegetarian this happens to be the BMW 7 series and the old model and you know there's one Nissan GTR here but one is not enough so we have another Nissan GTR and since two is not enough we have another Nissan GTR there's so many Nissan GTRs here it's absolutely baffling the number of Nissan GTRs meanwhile we've got an Aston Martin and my Aston Martin vocabulary is so poor that I would say this is the Vantage or the Vanquish or the DBS and here I've taken all the names of all the Aston Martins on sale which I don't even understand what it is thankfully I didn't say it's a DBX because that happens to be an SUV this happens to be the Dodge Viper and uh, this happens to be the SRT10. See, I'm so smart, I'm reading it on the front fender and uh, the car looks very awkward. It has a massive, I think, 8.4 litre engine or something of that sort. Interior is crap, but uh, can I say that on camera? Can I say the interior is crap on camera? Well, I just did. Anyways, this is actually the Aston Martin Vantage. I didn't even do the homework of roaming around the car because Aston seems so uninteresting somehow to me. The GTR looks amazing, especially those quad exhausts are super cool. And because all the Astons are the same, there's nothing much to look about there. What you're going to do is we're going to see one of my favorite cars, which happens to be the Mitsubishi Evolution 10, the Lancer Evo 10, something which Mitsubishi decided to kill for reasons best known to them. A car which is so successful, so powerful, so good in terms of performance was killed off. Why? Because it has a massive turbocharger, 2 liter turbocharged engine. The turbocharger was so big that it used to produce around 400 horsepower. It used to eat people for lunch, breakfast and dinner because you needed oxygen. Where do you get that oxygen? By eating stuff around you. Brembo brakes on a sedan of this size. Crazy, absolutely crazy. The go-fast version of the Lancer is absolutely phenomenal. The wing is so big, the wing is so big on this car, I can dry my entire wardrobe on this wing itself because, yeah, that is the level of practicality on offer. There are like four uh, uh, pods on the top so that you can keep a tap of almost everything around. And these are the tires of the vehicle. Now, 255, 40, 18s, low profile tires, Brembo brakes and the disc size is fine but the disc kind of seems little rusted somehow and the ground clearance is also very low on this vehicle now on that side we've got again run of the mill SUVs which not really many people care about like the Q5 and the Mercedes GLE that seems to be the 43 or if it's old it might be the 450 yeah it's a 43 AMG this is the GLS again GL500 actually the pre facelift this is a Range Rover we see plenty of them in India that is the Land Rover Defender this is the Ford Raptor and uh, there is the classic old Mustang and a Ferrari tuned by Haman. Yeah, not Hamam. Hamam is actually a soap or something in India. Hummer H1, nobody really cares about that. And that is some van from Renault. Yeah, they should have got this van to India. Uh, no, I think it's the Ivalius twin. This is an old classic Buick. This is an old classic Rolls Royce and that is an old classic Mercedes. Now that one I think, believe, I believe it to be the W123 probably could be the 300d we're not even going to take the effort of going behind because i'm already done a vlog on that it might have not gone live by the time this video comes out but who cares there's the bentley bentayga yeah it's going from there there's a range Rover. everywhere you see there's a bentley there's a range rover it's absolutely crazy this place rather dubai is absolutely mad in terms of cars so this is the ferrari i was talking about this car hasn't been washed in years right now but who really cares this i think happens to be i think I, I, can't, I can't even tell you which is the model of this Ferrari because it's so old. I wasn't even born then. I'm just kidding, okay? This is not very old car. This is relatively old but relatively new as well. Designed by Pinin Farina, of course. And I think this could be... Okay, let's not make wrong guesses here on camera. SVR Range Rover SVR. I drove an exact same color car back in India multiple times. Unfortunately, that time I not started vlogging. This is the most obnoxiously designed rear end of a car. Car is very nice, practical, has plenty of charging ports inside, you can charge your whole house. But unfortunately, the rear is either a love it or a hate it. And for me personally, I don't like how the rear is kind of a little 
weirdish. I mean, it doesn't look balanced. But why are we talking about a discovery when we can talk about, or rather, when we can discover so many things? That is an S65, I think. Yeah, it should be an S65 with a wide body kit. Yeah, it has to be an S. No, it's a SL65. SL65. It's the black series. It's a yeah, it's a V12 black series. Crazy stuff. Okay, let's get inside the showroom and uh, let's get inside the showroom and look at a few more interesting cars which means that we actually can get in from here i thought we can't but still okay we can't get in from here no we can so this happens to be a bmw 7 series this is the v12 model this is a dodge viper look at the size of that wing absolutely crazy size of the wing this 7 series has a v12 engine yeah that's the bentley mulsane and uh, here we have got a lamborghini and this is which Lambo? Can you guess? Which is this? It looks very nice. Now this is the convertible version of the car. Interior is having less of Audi parts because that time Lambo was owned by Lambo. Probably not. I'm, I'm not too sure about it. But you know, Lambo had its own identity without having many Audi parts earlier. But now things have changed. Not really for the better or for the worse. But it depends because Lambos were mad back in the days. Now they are not. That is a G63 which is coming out. And this is the G65. Now this is the old one because the new G63, rather the new G-Wagon does not come in a G65 trim, no V12 for it. This one is the new one, G65, interior is amazing, there's a Mustang which is making a lot of noise, telling about the 7 series, it's a V12, so yeah, you can see that, it says V12, X drive, all wheel drive because with all that power and talk, it's going to be absolutely crazy. There goes the G-Wagon, not that we care much about it. And this happens to be the Mercedes G65 AMG with a V12 motor. This is the Rolls Royce Ghost here. And uh, the Ghost is kind of a rich man 7 series somehow. So interior is really very nice in the car. In fact, we can open the interior and see. Yeah, look at the interior. Rolls Royce really nails the interiors of all its cars. And because it's a Rolls Royce, obviously the doors have to swing open the other way. Soft door close, it automatically sucks it in. Not much space comparatively when you compare it to a Phantom. The Phantom has insane amount of space on offer. In fact, you know, if you want to close the door, you can just press this button and then the door closes. But right now, yeah, there it goes. The door closes. We've already done a video of all that and more. This Lambo looks absolutely slick in orange. This is a Corvette ZR1 and that is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. This Ferrari seems to be the F430. It's an old one. The interior actually tells you the same. Look at the interior. Yeah, I love the whole red treatment inside. It looks pretty cool. Even the seats have that red insert. But you know, this Ferrari one side, the car which I really have my eyes on right now happens to be this. This is none other than the Mercedes SLR and this is tuned by Haman. It's bright orange, just like the G-Wagon. The, yeah, what do you call those things? Exhaust, exhaust are on the side. The wheels are brilliant, colored in yellow. Looks super nice, even the brake calipers are colored in yellow. A lot of carbon fiber trim as well and the rear spoiler is absolutely crazy on this car. But unfortunately, the SLR had to go because Mercedes was uh, having McLaren help them make that car. But now they are independent because McLaren making so many cars of their own. It's absolutely crazy. The car looks super sexy. Still one of the most relevant cars for me, personally speaking. And this happens to be the Lamborghini Gallardo. The red finish looks super good, super awesome. And there's a massive wing here as well. Meanwhile, GT3 RS, that is the Corvette. And that is the Lambo again. From the rear, yeah, that arrow thing now reminds me of Audi somehow. Car looks super sexy still, in spite of the age. That's a Morgan. This is a Bentley Mulsanne. That is a Rolls-Royce Phantom, the old one, I believe, the 6. And this is a Bentley Continental GT. We've got a Mercedes V-Class. Oh my God, look at the size of the V-Class. It dominates the complete showroom. This Bentley looks super cool. You know what's super cool about this Bentley? The fact that the logo is so nice. Look at the logo. Yeah. This logo is super cool and I don't know if it goes down inside or not, but it's super cool for sure. That Mulsen is coming ahead because I believe some car has to go out and uh, I was actually planning to show you a walk around of that car. So I'll just do that quickly. So this is, that particular car is an Aries design, Aries design, something of that sort. I don't even know exactly what that means. This is the key of the vehicle. Yeah, it's a Mercedes G wagon underneath. We'll unlock the car right away. Yeah. The design is absolutely crazy. Look at it. It looks like some. It looks like something else completely. It doesn't look like a G-Wagon from any angle whatsoever. They have just beefed it up from every angle, like flared wheel arches and whatnot. Okay, let's open the door. Now, when the, you open and close the door, you realize that this is a Mercedes G-Wagon in every way because the G-Wagon has that. 
the interior is also souped up completely just look at the interior look absolutely berserk so much leather so much beige inside but you know certain treatments they haven't been able to change which reminds you yes this is a mercedes at the end of the day a mercedes g wagon nonetheless okay let's open the rear door this is actually based on the older version of the g wagon and uh, yeah beautiful seats not much space on offer but you've got a proper center console below this also you've got stuff space to keep stuff and lot of wood inside screens and what not crazy absolutely crazy this car is madness onto an entirely different level there you see it's going to amount of space on offer there as well but they've completely changed the design the height is so much it kind of reminds me of the G500 4x4 square and uh, you've got twin uh, this thing footboards because one isn't enough with this vehicle you've got two of these pirelli rubber really wide 325 is the size of the tire 325 35 22s that's really very big on this vehicle and as you can see the car madness it looks absolute madness what a mad beast the size the sheer size how can a mercedes g wagon look so beefy so mad it's not easy to climb inside this car but you know somehow the person who was driving managed it turns on with an absolute roar and you know getting this car out of the showroom is going to be another task for the person who's going to do it honestly you need there you see yeah so basically the exhaust have been shifted no they're not been shifted they're in the same location but they have been covered very nicely and there comes this car outside okay there's a harley davidson motorcycle parked in the side here in dubai everything is parked in the corner okay let's see this car come out look at the sheer presence of this vehicle i don't know if it's going to come out i just hope it does or they're going to get it somewhere else actually they plan to clean one side of the showroom right now what a design okay i have not even heard of this company honestly i am clueless about this company but what have they made this is an angry beast and i just hope it is based on the 65 because it honestly needs the power from the 65 to move slickly there it goes what a machine what a beast standing next to its cousins who unfortunately never hit the gym this one of course did so we're going to quickly wrap around this walk around right away by showing you the cars which i think i missed out on i don't think i missed out on any car because we've spoken about the ghost we've spoken about the diablo we've spoken about the corvette and uh, that v class looks absolutely slick a mafia van if i may and so does this continental gt as well this bentley oh my god super cool i love the wheels they kind of remind me of the pre facelift version of the mercedes maybach s600 which also had similar wheels and this rolls royce phantom well if chrome was never enough it will never be enough because this is bathed in chrome they first made the car in chrome and then they made other parts which were non chrome that is the amount of chrome on offer in fact door is open so we'll open it and you can see the interior there is more wood in this car than there is wood in a wood factory that is the amount of wood in this rolls royce really very cool i love the way how bmw has got back rolls royce and they've done it in a brilliant way all together you've got side curtains you've got much more space you can immediately realize this is a phantom not a ghost because look at the amount of space on offer it's absolutely crazy and uh, we already done a proper walk around on such cars already so there's not much to talk about and obviously you have the umbrella here you know these old rolls royce cars did not have the doors to close with the press of a button at least not from the outside and uh, soft door close well no it actually closed so it doesn't really care about soft door close this car's hood rather the engine area is longer or bigger then the cabin area it's so big it's crazy but even to open the door that's also an effort somehow yeah that's how it opens that is the interior which is kind of special different as well but i think this car is very oversteery somehow at least that's what i've made to believe by seeing videos of various people from the uk driving it and doing crazy stuff and the spirit of ecstasy always as beautiful pull it down you have to pull it downwards then only it shuts and goes inside if you pull it from up it doesn't there's a way to pull it so technically not made to be full proof or you know to hide itself only if you pull it in a particular pattern then only it goes down so someone who wants to steal it from behind can do it but if you want to if you pull it this way then it reclines and sits back in fact it has to be pulled like this yeah because the car is open it's not going to happen right now but to pull it forward no there it goes and hides itself that is how it works anyways what is the suspension is gone or what because it seems that there is no clearance only between this there's a camera there and there is no space only somehow that's absolutely crazy what is happening i don't know what's happened to the suspension but 
there seems to be no space. 265, 40, 21 is the size of the tire. I love this thing. I love this Bentley logo. They should offer that logo on every car, including the Bentayga, because that's how it's supposed to be done. Now you see that Rolls Royce thing did not go inside properly. So they, you know, with age, they don't seem to work. So it's not really foolproof as such. Remove that logo and put this one for sure, because that's super cool. The one which uh, is there on recent Bentley cars, the, this is like the optional one. That feels so stupid. Why do you have to pay more money to Bentley after already paying so much money? That doesn't make sense. Here, let's try and open this. The car is actually locked, but I've shown you the SLR before. And the Corvette, well, in between all these exotics, feels a bit too mainstream. Anyways, guys, this is my quick walk around at Alain Class Motors. And I had done a walk around earlier as well. And that walk around had obviously shown you a lot of cars. And they have some real kick ass cars. And in this second showroom of theirs as well, you can see the cars are kick ass. That is a Corvette from the inside. You let me know which car you personally like. My personal preference, my personal liking is not this Lamborghini or this Ferrari, it happens to be this crazy tuned Mercedes G-Wagon. And on that bombshell, it's time to end this video. Bye-bye, take care, see you.